no matter what time it was, um, he was always the first one to that ball field, and he was always the last one to leave. He always made sure that we were cared for as players, whether it be academically or physically, or, you know, like I said, he just treated us the best way possible. He always expected us to be the better, better person. He expected us to carry ourselves as, you know, the little girl that's at the ball field wanting to be you one day. He wanted us to realize that, that, that your eyes or their eyes are always on you and you, you need to act that way in a certain way. Um, and now, as being a coach myself, I try and instill those same characteristics in my kids that, uh, that he instilled in us. He's, the, you know, he's just that one coach that I will always remember, that a lot of people, a lot of players will always remember because for him it wasn't always about the win. For him it was always about what can we learn from that game, what can we learn from that practice, and it may have not been any relation to softball. You know, he's got, the, he's got the wins, he's got the tenure, he's got championships, um, but this is one thing that he really wanted. And knowing that he was able to hear that he was inducted before he passed, I know that smile that came across his face that I've seen so many times. Um, that means the world to me, and I know it means the world to April and the boys because, golly, the times that he spent with us as players instead of, you know, the times that he could have with, with his kids. You know, so many of us have relationships with Seth and Noah and April because he created such a family atmosphere. It's awesome to see that it's being acknowledged.